in his Mazda RX-7. He'd been the leading New Zealander on several previous internationals without finishing. He trailed Cook by 23 seconds at this early stage. Neil Allport was third New Zealander and one minute 17 seconds down on Cook. He was ninth overall. Neil Allport simply flew his Mazda through the rain, setting equal third fastest time with Blomquist. Neil Allport continued his charge on leading New Zealander Reg Cook, trailing him by 60 seconds. This left Neil Allport as the first New Zealander, two minutes 36 seconds ahead of Malcolm Stewart. Pressure now went on Neil Allport as the leading New Zealander. He'd been in this position on several occasions in previous internationals and failed to complete one of them. Malcolm Stewart's Quattro by 2 minutes 19 seconds after 7 stages on leg 3. Neil Allport also chased hard, being only 6 seconds behind Teasdale. 
Allport was just one second behind Stewart. With three longer stages ahead, Allport had problems with the dust from Stoll's Audi 80 Quattro. Stoll, however, had other problems. Neil Allport was still third local driver, but now one minute 30 behind Stewart. He dropped back in the stage, losing over a minute while stuck on a fence he hit. Neil Allport began a determined charge on the leading New Zealander, Tony Teasdale. He was trailing Teasdale by 2 minutes 43, but was only 12 seconds behind Reg Cook. However, he was soon to catch Cook up. Neil Allport seemed to find his rhythm about now and started to record a series of quickest times amongst the New Zealanders. Neil Allport began the leg in a determined manner and after the two Rotawehu Forest stages was trailing Tony Teasdale by only six seconds. For Neil Allport, this was a lucky break. Early in the stage, he'd spun and got stuck and had to be pulled out by Rod Millen. This special stage was the turning point in the rally for Neil Allport.
He beat Teasdale by 38 seconds and moved into a handy lead as first New Zealander. For Neil Allport back in Rotorua at servicing, it was a notable occasion. It was the first time in five international rallies that he'd entered that he'd finished the third division. Neil, you're leading New Zealander at the end of day three. How do you feel? Uh, very good, actually. You know, it's been a funny sort of a day, one way or the other, and uh, we started out good this morning and we were quite happy, and then it stopped. Stage cancelled and uh, things went a bit flat, and the next stage after we had a bit of an off. Just the start of the stage, unsettled me a bit, but um, we went into the last stage, tried some new tyres on the back, and we were very fortunate to come out of there with, with a good stage time, and uh, so we're very happy, and I think we're very comfortable for tomorrow, and I think hopefully tomorrow will be a good day. Cook lost nearly three minutes to Neil Allport, who continued to lead the local drivers. Neil Allport had shown a new maturity in his driving. He set fastest local time on this stage. <laughs> 